good morning. So today's theme is all about pate, something I feel like the Vietnamese took from the French and you could argue made even better. They made it their own. So today I'm gonna to show you a bunch of dishes that have pate, not just your typical banh mi either that has pate on it. Uh, kind of got a slight little version of it here this morning. We're gonna start off with a little banh mi. We're gonna do banh mi and we got some really fun stuff, some stuff that you're gonna be like, wow, that has pate. So let's start it off. Banh mi here in district four, probably one of the most famous places you can get banh mi. Um, talk to them, they're gonna be super busy. I mean, they're already packed out. They got a full house. I don't even know if we can get a seat in here. Okay, so one reason they call it banh mi, so like the nay is kind of like dodging, dodging beef. It's kind of a funny name, but when you see the oil fly up, you kind of start to understand how it got its name. It's almost like a bun sale, right? Because it makes the sail sound, the sizzle, when that batter hits the hot oil. Um, I'm not gonna get too close to this, and I don't want to get in their way. They're actually frying up some Vietnamese pasta as well, some nui, and you can see that high heat flame. And he cooked these up maybe about 30 seconds to a minute, He's heating up the oil right here. Then he goes into his main burner and then he just throws on the ingredients you order. One thing I really do find funny about this dish is, and I, I don't know the story of it and I would love to know, is why every Bonne restaurant, the plate is in the shape of a cow. Throws on almost like some marinated beef right here, cracks the egg, high heat, oh my gosh. Everybody's pulling back since that heat comes up now. Where are we gonna sit? I have no clue, let's try to find a seat. Đi một mình. Đúng rồi, một mình. <laughs> 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 So they have English for y'all. Like I said, super famous. They're gonna have English. Um, cool little part of District 4. One of the more open little alleys, not too too busy. Uh, you can get all things. You can get the kind of like, I thought it was kind of, but you know the like the fish that comes in the can with like the tomato sauce? You can get that on it. But to me, bane is nothing without the beef. Where's the beef? I actually don't know what's more impressive. When you're outside, you're watching a cookie, or the liquor collection the owner has here. Look at all of that whiskey. Oh, so nice, a nice cold winter morning in Saigon. Yeah. Nope. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sạch tới, à, bao trồng đây à, Thêm mà uh, Dạ, trong nước À, được À, làm sốt đây đọc kia Ok, you gotta help me make sure I do it right Dạ Ok, quá nhé Ờ, isn't she so cute? I did, I did not expect her to make the sauce for me So you actually put the sạch tới in kind of almost like some chili sauce into here with the uh, lime stir it up she said just kind of pour it on here as you like for me the best thing you can do is just get in here scrape and get it all mixed in so I'll give you all a little egg pour in here because i know y'all waiting for it oh god sauce that's what that is you don't really need much else when you got the egg yolk it has god given sauce get it going with that pate see right here so they marinated that beef right and my favorite bits are those marinated bits they get like a little bit caramelized a little bit bitter oh so nice those charred little ends boom make a little bun with yourself rule number one when eating bun don't touch the plate Honestly, I've never made a sauce like this with Bonnet before. I love the way she took the soy sauce, added the chili sauce, added the sate, and the squeeze the lime. That that quadruple little combination right there is what you want. I mean, it perfectly balances out with that beef flavor, that umami, that saltiness, that sour, a little bit spicy lemongrass coming through with that charred beef, the runny egg yolk, and then the creamy, creamy sate. Mm. Alright, let's eat it up and finish it off. 
because there's people waiting to get in here and get a seat, need some money. And the last thing you probably like seeing is somebody in here taking their time making a video when you're outside hangry, ready to get your own food. Let's heat it up and get on to moving. Rồi, con cảm ơn cô nha. Dạ. Ui, 29 years. This is the best bonnet you're gonna get in Saigon. To me, sometimes I go other places if I just want like a quieter, more relaxed feel. But if you just want one of the better bonnet in Saigon, and you like the crowds, you like the craziness, you like the in and out fast pace, calling orders, they don't get much better than that. They do it so well. Like I said, 29 years. Good people, Cole was very friendly. Um, they're all friendly. They're just like very, very busy. So come here, and get in there, elbow a little bit, and get you some money. I think I got grease on my lens. So I'll just meet you at the next spot. All right, down here at District 10, we're on the street, my hat. Insane street. A, because I feel like I'm always about to have four or five wrecks, but just so much food like intertwined in the street. I'm trying not to show you the sign because y'all are about to freak out at this next spot. You're gonna think I'm crazy. Then think I've been drinking earlier or something. Hotel? A lot of people think of hotel, they think of Nam Bang, right? Like Phnom Penh noodles. I found a hotel, they call it Hotel Pate. What? Have to go search and check that out. Apparently, I didn't know this till I got here because I saw the sign. It's especially a Bacleo, which I did not know. How cool is that? I'm super excited for this. Yeah, I'll come in. And Monta, Hotel, Hotel Pate. Yeah, I'm a little dark bit. Yeah, đúng rồi. Đầy đủ là đặc biệt. Tại sao mùi đặc biệt có 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 nguyên liệu gì? À, nếu mà đặc biệt á là có đầy đủ là xá xíu nè, chả yeah. cá, chả tôm, bao tử, yeah. bánh thánh. Dạ. Yeah. Yeah. Nhưng tại sao đây là có tên là hủ tiếu pate? Dạ, yeah, cái này là pate này là của bạc liêu quá. Oh. Cái hương vị của cái chị chị chủ á làm ở bạc liêu quá. Nên giống như gió tụ. Dạ, đúng rồi đúng rồi. Nhưng mà nhà làm bằng cái hương vị gia truyền của bạc oh, liêu. Ờ, có có có. Oh, ok, hiểu. Rồi, cảm ơn chị nha. <cười> Ah, okay, so it's actually not like the pate you would think of like that you spread on a bun me. That is super interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh. I was not ready for the English. And có hotel gì đây là hotel gạo. Yeah. Hotel gạo. Yeah. Nhân có nhiều loại hotel đúng không? Nhưng đây là hotel gạo đúng không? Và có cái này mì. Mì đúng rồi. À mì mì có có làm với trứng. Đúng. À, trứng vịt. Trứng vịt. À, đúng rồi, trứng vịt. Mì với sữa đầu này. À, đúng rồi. Còn đây hủ tiêu này là gạo. À, đúng. Hủ tiêu gạo. À, khô khoe ở đâu? À, bác liệu. Bác. Bác liệu đúng không? Thanh hóa. Ở à, Thanh hóa. Ờ, à, ở miền Bắc. Thanh Quế. À, Thanh hóa còn món tôm. Đúng rồi. Dạ, yeah, đúng rồi. Bánh gai. À, đúng rồi. Nem chua. Thank you. You speak English better than me though. Đi qua Việt Nam mấy bao nhiêu năm rồi? À, Việt Nam hả? Ba năm rưỡi. Ba năm rưỡi mà nói thành rồi Dạ. Yeah. Bao nhiêu tuổi? À, 30 tuổi. 30 tuổi năm nay đúng rồi. Ui <cười> À. Còn đây là là chủ nhỏ, gần kia chủ lớn. À, dạ. Yeah. Ok, so we got the bowl here. Check this out, this is so funny. That's it, that's a yo thủ right there. So they're making it in here, in-house. Look at it, it's almost got like, looks like it's got like roasted pork in there and like a nim chua. Such an interesting looking texture. So for me, they got a little side sauce here I want to try. It looks like it's going to be kind of like sour sweet. Ooh. This place is making me feel like I'm just like I've never lived in Vietnam. It's very salty. It's kind of weird, you know, like uh, I guess like a chinsu sauce, right? Like a thong. Uh, it's got a consistency of that like corn syrup, like sugariness, but it's got a salty, kind of like savory component, almost like a gravy. It does have like a little sour kick to it. And I'm just gonna eat this like I would a hotel, and I'm bang, I'm gonna, I got it. The dry style, I'm pour some broth, stir it up, and get after it. I wouldn't have to be insane to try anything but this right here. The, I guess y'all pool, but the pate. <laughs> oh, look at that. See that big old black peppercorn in there? Oh wow. Oh wow. You gotta love black pepper because when you crunch a black peppercorn, it was like a black pepper floral explosion in your mouth. The texture for me is what's getting me. It's got a little bounciness to it. I kind of like a tapioca, but then 
I was thinking of something softer, like a nimchua, like a sour sausage in Vietnam, but it's not. It's got more of like a tapioca bounciness to it. And then you're like biting through almost like these roasted pork pieces. A first for me. But if you had to say, Max, what's one of your favorite noodles to have just a mouthful of noodles in? Like a boon from a boon reo would be up there. A pho, like a flat noodle. And ho tiêu, but ho tiêu gao, like this type of ho tiêu, would probably be my top three. That's just quick going off the top of my head though, so I'd have to think about it a little bit more. Yeah, you wanna take that sauce, get your pool noodles, cover it in sauce, and just get a big mouthful of noodles. Man, that texture, that fine, fine noodle texture, a small noodle texture, it's still got this doughiness to it, kind of like an egg noodle. Oh, wow. And you know we're all about diversity with our Vietnamese cuisine. Got one bowl, got a pork here with a fried fish cake as well. Oh yeah. The thing is, if your pork here is good, it made me fall in love. If, if, if a place can do pig ear correctly, it's worth going back to time and time again. Had the hotel pate, and I don't even know if it's the most interesting thing they do. So that's what she was talking about, right? They make the mui here, but they do it the dao nan. I don't know how you make noodles with mung bean. I really don't know how you do that. And then they got the bumba cake. Yeah, come in here. <laughs> Let's get out of the way though, because there's actually no place for anybody else to park. Uh, another 60K meal, another delicious meal. Uh, I'm gonna grab a cafe fiend from somewhere. Relax a little bit, because this next one, you thought that was interesting. We just getting started. I'm about to show y'all something that's gonna blow your mind even more. Honestly, I've seen some things. It's been a minute. Um, had something kind of fall through, so I got my plan B, right? Uh, super loud music, so I don't know how much footage we wanna get to show you on the inside of them making it. But we got bun bao, bun bao chin. So kind of like the buns, right? Vietnamese buns, but they're fried up. Now they call it bun teo, but I call it bun bao. They also have bun teo. But they do bun ba, bun teo, like all the fried goodies. And they kind of do it cool here because they're stuffing a lot of cool ingredients on the inside. So you see they got the dog bit here, which is the chung bui. They got the ka ye, ka ye sao ring. So that's going to be kind of like this custard filled one that they fry as well, I do believe. And a bun bao. What's they about? Pate. They got a bun bao pate as well. So I can't get too much in. I'm going to give you a little B-roll of them making up because it's kind of a cool production on the inside. Then we'll get some things ordered and I'll show you the pate one. À, anh chỉ là gửi chỗ ở đây cho à, đây là mẹ cơ chị à, cho cho con được ngồi đây được không ok cứ à, có, bây giờ con làm gì đây là trứng muối Thịt thì nếu mà một trứng cút thì nó sẽ là nhưng bình thường yeah. Còn mà nó hai trứng cút với một trứng muối với cái này nữa là đặc biệt uh, And đây là cà dây xà riêng đúng không? Đúng rồi Dạ yeah. Đây là bánh tươi Ờ, bánh tươi I'm kind of amazed when they do the bánh bào Because everybody here, like they make it look so easy They just roll it out, they stuff it And they close it so fast But for me it's just like, it's not easy And in fact they probably make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds a day And we can see they're all just stacked and ready to go They're gonna which I like, because I like that they're constantly making them. It's a lot of work for the family, right? Because they're going to be here all day making it. Man, you get that fresh product. It's so delicious when it just comes right out of the fryer. Yeah. <laughs> Anh đấy là 10 ngàn đúng không? Dạ đúng rồi. Ở bên đó có biết ăn trứng muối không? Sao? Ở bên đó mọi người có biết ăn trứng muối không anh? Ta có biết. Không <cười> có biết hả? Không có biết. <cười> không biết nhiều không sao? Nói chuyện dễ thương quá à. Cảm ơn mọi người nha. Chị ta đi Mỹ rồi chứ. À, à, mì tho Mì tho Mì đỉnh Họ cảm ơn nha Mì tho Mì tho Có hủ tiếu rất là ngon không sao 
<laughs> Đúng rồi. I feel like a lazy person. Everybody here is like making bun bouts, making them so fast. I'm just sitting here just talking, having a good time, drinking <laughs> my drink. So you can kind of see the whole assembly line here. So they're actually making them. And what's, I, again, what I like is how fresh you get things here. It's a lot of work for them, but it's worth it for the customers. So they're just kind of watching and they're like, what are we out of? What do we need? And they'll make it right on the spot. They'll fry it up right here and they're going to hold it right up here in the front. And then it's going to come and sell out and just repeats that process. A lot of work, long hours. I was talking right here. Cole wakes up at three in the morning. I said, buy your sang. <laughs> And that is not morning. We call it like, I was like, that's Baya Kui, they come by Sang. Oh my gosh. So a lot of work, a lot of effort coming in to be able to run something like this, but the extra effort and detail to make it fresh, that's how you get famous. And that's why this is one of the most famous places where you can get bun mouth. They were really cool people. I mean, I bet we sat there and talked for an hour. I had the point where I like, I just had to leave. I felt like I was, felt like I was annoying them. Nah, I'm just kidding. They were super cool. Uh, they talk, They would talk to me all day if I would have kept asking questions, but I wanted to let them get back to focusing on work. Uh, and I wanted to do the real test. We know it's delicious hot out of the fryer, but I drove about 20 minutes. I want to see how these would be like in a shipment if you order these on Grab or something. And how would they taste if you got them and you had to wait 20 minutes? So I can't lie. Um, am the daughter of the original owner. Gave me one, two, three, four, five types they wouldn't let me pay, wouldn't let me pay for the drink, wouldn't let me pay for this. You, you need to know. You need to know when I get things for free. You gotta keep the tally in your head uh, for because we gotta get back. Because remember, it's not what Vietnamese people do for you. It's what can you do for the Vietnamese people. <laughs> At least that's my saying. Oh, this one is gorgeous looking. It's actually still hot. It's gonna be super crunchy. Oh, ho, ho. almost kind of looks like a cake donut. Probably American thing when I talk about cake donuts, but. Oh man. Sesame seed overload, very dense. I feel like if I just ran this through some powdered sugar, this could pass as a cake donut back in America. Mm. Mom. And I don't know which is which, I'm just kind of grabbing and going. I'm gonna assume the biggest is the dock bit. Oh yeah. Gorgeous inside. I mean, they're frying it just right too. There's no really grease marks, no grease soaking through just white fluffy bread i'm gonna get some with the salted egg and mine that to the jungle and that meat mixture that is superb the bread they're working with the bread they're using is so aromatic it's got a sweetness to it and then you fry it so it's nice and crunchy and the quality of the ingredients can't beat it mm. oh look at it look at it how cool is that? How did that split perfectly? Destiny. Like a salty, sweet bomb. The pate, very salty. You get the sweetness coming from the bun. It's fried, salty, sweet, fried. Come on, you, you feel me? You know what I mean? For giggles, the one with the sesame seed has the uh, souring one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. Even if you don't like durian, you could get after that. Actually, the durian flavor is very, very mild. Most of it's just creamy and sugary and custardy. Mm. Oh man, heavy day. Bonne, the hotel, and then all the bun bao. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. With the theme, if you like more of the themes and things like that, let me know. It's super windy and there's storms coming in. So I got to get inside. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.